We've all been there. You sit down to do something and before you know it, you've spent 45 minutes scrolling through Instagram or watching yet another card video on YouTube. There's a tool to help you with that. It's called Rise. It's a super useful app that tracks your time automatically, keeps you focused and lets you take back control of your day. And it's available on Mac and on PC. This video is not sponsored by the way. I found Rise a couple of months ago, been using it ever since and boy do I love it. So if you decide to give it a shot, I've got a special referral link in the description that gives you 25% off your first three months of subscription. And one more thing, if you stick around until the end of the video, I'm going to be giving away a few lifetime access slots. This might be your chance to grab Rise for free forever. Yes, I said forever. So stay tuned for all of the details. But now let's get into the fun stuff, how I use the software, the key features, and why you might want to check it out for yourself. So sometimes you need a little background music or noise if you're a weirdo <laughs> to get into the zone. Rise understands that this is common amongst digital professionals and has a built-in sound option. And there are a bunch of options to help you set the vibe. You can select from nature sounds like rain or waterfalls to lo-fi beats and even frequency sounds that make you feel like you are floating on a cloud. Zen mode activated. Now, this is where Rise really proves its worth. It's with auto time tracking. No more forgetting to start timers or realizing halfway through a project that you have lost track of time. Rise knows when you're working and tracks it for you automatically. So once I sit down to start working on something like an article, for example, it automatically records how long I've been at it and shows the time in my menu bar. And trust me, seeing that timer helps keep you productive as well as tell you when you've been working for too long and maybe need a break. Although Rise has smart notifications for that. I've tried other tools where you have to manually hit start and stop on a timer, but let's be real, who remembers to do that? I definitely don't. With Rise, I can focus on my work and it does the heavy lifting in the background. It's like the app version of a personal assistant that doesn't need coffee breaks. How might I serve you? The first time I opened Rise's setting, I was pleasantly surprised. It's not overwhelming at all. You can easily tweak everything to suit your unique workflow without feeling like you need a PhD in software engineering. You can get the hang of everything in the settings section in just a few minutes. But there are a few tabs that really make the magic happen. Happen. and here's a breakdown of these three most important ones. Now the first one is the categories tab and this is where you can edit or remove categories and decide whether to treat each category as important or not. I have a category for client web design and maintenance and this is where I track time spent on specific client websites. I can also tell Rise to categorize certain tasks and apps or websites under focus mode and it even offers the option to enable distraction blockers and idle detection on each category. Now the next app is a tracking rules tab. This is where you customize what Rise tracks. It's pretty smart on its own and it automatically knows which apps and websites you use and does a great job of putting them under the right category. But you can also go in and tweak things. Let's say I'm adding a new client's website under my client web design and maintenance category. I simply select whether I want to categorize an app or website from my activity or based on a custom URL or categorize an app based on the name. But since I want to add a new client's website under my client's web design and maintenance category, I'll select categorize based on custom URL and then I'll enter the URL and select the category I want to put it under. I can also create a new category from here if I wanted to. The focus tab is my personal favorite because it takes out all the guesswork. This one toggle is really what makes Rise special. Simply toggling on the autofocus detection enables Rise to figure out when I'm working on something important. So I don't have to keep starting and stopping timers. For example, I use Ableton for music production and Rise knows when I've been working in Ableton long enough that it's probably serious work. It tracks that time automatically and when I'm done, I can then go in and assign the time to the right project or client, which we're going to talk about in a second. So there's no more forgetting to track my hours or start and stop timers. You can get accurate data of how long you spent working on projects every single time. Now the next feature is the project management within Rise. Look, I've tried many project management tools like Notion and ClickUp. They're great and all, but sometimes I feel like they are asking me to build a spaceship when all I really want to do is keep track of my projects. 
So complicated. That's why I love Rise's project management section. It's as simple as it gets. I use it to list my current projects, track the time spent on them, and mark them as completed when I'm done. No extra fluff, no unnecessary features that I will never use. Although you can manage clients and tasks within Rise's management section, I actually use another app called Structured for my day-to-day -day task management. Rise fills the gap for keeping accurate time logs for each project. Once the client approves a project, I just mark it as done and move on. Simple, clean, and headache-free. You can also set your focus modes manually. I like to use this for offline activities like workouts. I just set the timer, assign it to my exercise category, and pick an upbeat tune from the Rise sound library to set the mode, and I get to working out. And the giant clock makes it easy to see how long you have been at it. Rise also lets you set work goals, and this feature is surprisingly motivating. For me, I set a goal to work at least least three hours every day. I can quickly see whether I've hit the goal by checking the timeline of my daily work sessions. So if I spend at least three hours in any of my focus categories for the day, then I have hit my goal. And when I hit my targets, I get a green check mark. But when I fall short, I get a red X. Those green check marks are way more satisfying than they should be. It's like getting a gold star for being a proper grown up. Now, who is Rise really made for? I'd say if you are a freelancer or a remote worker or just anyone who does most of their work on their computer and needs to manage their time without spending all day thinking about how to manage their time, then Rise is your friend. It's especially useful if you've ever found yourself going down the, the internet rabbit hole during your work hours or struggling to remember where your time went. It's also fantastic for people like me who have the memory of a goldfish when it comes to starting and stopping timers. And if you're someone who geeks out over productivity tools but doesn't want to spend more time setting them up than actually using them, Rise keeps it simple, does everything almost automatically without sacrificing functionality. So now let's talk pricing. Rise has a free plan which doesn't come with all the bells and whistles. Just enough to give it a try, but then there are two pricing options. There's a $16.99 a month plan if you want to pay monthly, or a $119.88 for the annual plan. That sets you back about $9.99 per month, which is more cost effective. If you use my referral link in the description, you will get 25% off your subscriptions for the first three months. You're welcome. So even though this isn't a sponsored video, the folks over at Rise have generously given me a few lifetime slots to give away. But, and this is a big but, I want to make sure these are given away to people who will really benefit from the app. Not just someone looking to flip it for quick bucks or doesn't really have any need for it. I'd like to give this to freelancers or solopreneurs who are handling a decent amount of projects and activities monthly. So that's kind of the yardstick I'll use to decide who gets it. And that's also why I've put together a short survey to find the right people to give this away to. So if you want a chance to win the lifetime access to rise here is how you enter subscribe to the channel of course because why wouldn't you and then fill out the survey linked below that's it cheers